We'd be done sooner if you'd stop talking and work on your lines while I fix the problem. Work on my lines? Don't you know who you're talking to? Thank you, Scarlet. Now, what is going on? Is everything okay in here? I heard raised voices. Everything's fine. Are you sure? Not, nothing out of the ordinary? Scarlet and Brit are at each other's throats again tonight. I think it's as normal as it gets. Everything's fine, officer. It's perfectly under control. Okay, but no one should hesitate to call if someone feels as they're there in danger if you catch my drift. You'll be the first one to know, sir. Now someone tell me what's going on. The doorbell. What? The doorbell. It didn't ring. Okay. And? And we're waiting for it. What else are we supposed to do? Like you on Regina's line when she says, One of us is responsible. <laughs> Good afternoon. I'm Inspector Bradshaw. I do the online interruption. <laughs> but the doorbell rang. I know. Just a little bit safe. But the problem's solved now. Come with me and I'll play it. And that's when Gary comes on as the inspector. That's all we've been waiting for. A doorbell? <laughs> yes. Well, not anymore. Something terrible. Is this going to happen on opening night? What is it that happens on opening night? It can't happen on opening night. It won't, Misty. But tomorrow night is opening night. It's fixed. Problem solved. We have a doorbell, and we'll have it again tomorrow for opening. And even if we don't, we'll just keep going, right? Frank, can I have a word with you while we're stopped? How could I say no? You've read my contract now, haven't you? Yes, Scarlet. I've read your contract. I told you a thousand times that I've read it. Then you'll know that my contract specifically states that you will not be held in rehearsal for more than three hours at a time. Yes, I know. And it's a quarter to nine already. I refuse to be kept here past ten. I must have my beauty rest. And beauty rest you shall have. And not that I'll do her any good. <laughs> Look, if we're all done here, I have a few words. Yes. Oh, goody. Words of wisdom from our mighty leader. We're off track. We open tomorrow, and we have to get through this rehearsal. I think what we all need is to just take a few moments to refocus by visualizing a show-stopping performance tomorrow night. Show-stopping? How is that any different from what we're doing already? Look, you know what I mean. Just do it. Everyone, close your eyes, breathe, and visualize. That's right. Just breathe and visualize. Is there a problem here? Here we go again! No, officer. No problem here. Things don't appear to be okay. It's too quiet. First it was raised voices. Now it's too quiet. Seriously? We're already getting going over and it's already getting ridiculous. We don't have time for crazy. Excuse me? What did you call me? <laughs> you heard me. Now get back to your beat, Deputy Daw. Oh, I see. <laughs> Insulting officer now, are we? Well, miss, you just earned yourself a free night stay at Boygan County Jail. Let's see if I'm not behind bars will change the tune. Not now, Gary. Oh, who got that handcuff? Hey, you Get him away from me! Erica! What that? What that? Officer Ferguson seems to think there's a problem. Handle it. Officer, I witnessed everything. I can tell you all you need to know so you can crack the case. Aha! Uh -huh. Now we're getting somewhere. We got a talker. But why should I trust you? I have nothing to hide. Like I said, I'll tell you all you need to know. What about these people? They won't tell you a thing. They're your primary suspects. Just as I thought. Come with me. Why does everyone keep calling him officer? Gary's a little. He's not crazy. He just stays in character. That's all. Give him a break. He's what we call a method actor. What's that? Well, since he's playing a cop in the play, he trained to be cop in real life. Went through the police academy and everything. He truly believes he's a cop. Even when he's not acting? Yeah. Crazy, isn't it? Oh, this is so exciting! When Mom started to be in a play, I never knew how cool it would be. All these interesting people to meet and exciting problems to solve. I mean, what if this is right? What if the doorbell doesn't ring tomorrow night? What are we going to do? Can we add like, oh, can we? No. Oh, it's going to be really cool. Uh, speaking of that, Brit, may I make a suggestion? No. Well, I was just going to say that perhaps Sue can get back in the back of the doorbell. Sure, I'm doing the best I can, but she's
she's right. It's pretty bad. Well, I think it's good. Thank you. <laughs> nice work, kid. You tell people what they want to hear in Yoga Park. Oh, thanks. I'm just thinking I'd be good. No. Okay. Here's another one. No. What if Harry were to just knock at the door instead? No. I mean, he's standing there ready for dinner anyway. No. And then we would just need a signal before his entrance. No. I'm just saying that he could just... No, Regina, what is your role in this playhouse? I'm playing Miss Paul. No. Rita Paul? Not what is your role, but <coughs> what is your role? I'm playing... What is your role in this playhouse, Regina? You're an actress. She wants you to say you're just an actress. Right, and I'm the director. <coughs> so, you do the acting, and let me do the directing, okay? But I'm just thinking... No, don't think, just act. Let me do all the thinking. Capish? All right. Perfect. Now, can we just get on with this rehearsal? I'm so glad we refused to let critics in for the preview tonight. We're all set. Are you sure we're ready to go on? Yes. Global works, gear is your focus, and everyone who needs to be on stage is on stage. Now, let's go before any of that changes. And it won't happen again? Not a chance. Great. Let's resume. Places, everyone. We'll take it from Regina's cue, and we'll have a doorbell this time, and there will be no more problems. And we'll be done by 10. Just, Just as, as Scarlet's contract, contract specifies. What? Are we done? Look, everyone's on the way. <laughs> Almost forgot about it. Is rehearsal over? Because I'm just dying to track down the taco truck right about now. <laughs> no, Tom, you died just two pages ago. Really? It seems like I've been lying here for a while. <laughs> That's because you have been, hun. It's okay, Tom. Just go back to sleep. Okay, cool. Thanks. Just that, at least let me know if there's a snack break. <clears throat> One of us must be responsible. I do hope I'm not disturbing your afternoon tea, but I happened to be in the area and I heard a scream. Sorry, that was me. Oh, an inspector? Do you work for Scotland Yard? Yes, as a matter of fact, I was just moving back there when I heard the disturbance. Is everything okay here? No, in fact, you're kind of detective officer. It appears we may have just been witnessed to. A murder. A murder, you say? Yes, sir. It happened right here before we were at. So you saw everything? Not exactly. The electric went out just as pointy and, well, when they came back on again, Mr. Block was... <laughs> dead! <laughs> Are you telling me you didn't see the killer? No, sir. The lights went out and it was pitch black. Interesting. Even in the afternoon? Yes, sir. I was wondering about that. It does seem sort of fishy. And you're certain it was a murder? Yes, sir. Auntie found a fire poker in his chest. Got true. Well, it's true. Let me see the murder weapon. Oh, uh, yes, of course. It's uh, right there in Mr. Black's chest, exactly where we found it. We didn't disturb the scene of the crime at all. Everyone knows you don't disturb the scene of the crime. Yes. <laughs> yes. I see. Very interesting. What do you make of it, Inspector? I can say without a doubt that this man was, in fact, murdered. <sighs> but we all love Mr. Black. Surely none of us is responsible. That's certainly a possibility, and until we wait the facts, it's impossible to know for sure. As of this moment, you're all suspects. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. What's the matter, miss? Nothing. It's just that it's just so awful. Sounds to me like you're guilty of a guilty conscience. Is there something you'd like to tell us? No. Well, how could we have done it? We were all having tea. No one moved. And we all love Mr. Black. You keep saying that. Could it be that you don't really love Mr. Black at all? Could it be that you're the murderer? No. Hmm. Well, someone is responsible. I'm going to have to recreate the crime scene. I need to know exactly who was in this room and what they were doing at the time the murder took place. You mean you want us to reenact the scene? As if we were in a play or something? Precisely. Oh, very well. We can do that, can't we, everybody? Uh, let's 
Uh, we were all present and Margaret was just having tea. I was. And I had just poured Mr. Black a cup when... What was it I said? Oh yes, drink up Mr. Black. You don't want your tea going cold now, do you? I see. I see. And now don't go reading into that now. I served him a cup of tea just as I did for all the others. And we all see you put in Mr. Black's tea. One lump. Just as he requested. One lump. Please continue. And then I said, oh, <coughs> the poppy cakes are simply to die for tonight. I see, I see. So it was the poppy cakes. What? The poison was in the poppy cakes. No, they were just really good. And who said anything about poison anyway? Are you accusing my sister of? <coughs> I must have all of the facts. Please continue. Mr. Black began the conversation about business. Miss Polk is a fine billiards player, so naturally Mr. Black asked her about the game. He said, How oh, is your billiards game lately, Miss Polk? And I said, Just dandy, Miss Black. Careful round of the tea. And I said, I think it would be grand. May we watch? Oh, yes, that does sound exciting. I'll just go set the table out there when Mr. Black said, No, no, Miss Polk. You've always bested me, and I'm certain I'll never defeat you. But why is that, Mr. Black? Surely we have been last place. It's been years. And Mr. Black said, No, I haven't at all. I'm afraid I haven't quite mastered the break. Oh, pish posh. It's nothing, really. All you have to do is put a bit more English on it. Let's just do something so we can continue with rehearsal. Come on, Gary, get up. 
You know as well as the rest of us that the show must go on. Gary! Gary! No, Britt, let me handle this. You have to be gentle with him. Officer! Officer Ferguson! I just heard that there's an illegal gambling hall being run just down the street from here. We really need your assistance to help shut him down. <laughs> wow. I've been saving that one. I thought for sure it would come again, even though that's the worst. <laughs> Do something, Brent. This is getting ridiculous. Gary! 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 <laughs> oh no! What if he's really. Susan, that's enough! Sorry, I think I'm starting to get confused now. Is this part of the show? No, Susan. But it looks very familiar. You've got that right. No, we stopped from your school a while ago. Stop playing that. Take a break. Oh, we're just getting the habit, you know? Well, I thought it was cool. <laughs> Gary! You're clearly not going to like that. Here, let me handle this. Regina, I've told you a thousand times I'm the director. I'm the one that handles things. Gary! Gary! <gasps> oh, my. Oh, no, no, this is just awful. It appears he may really be... Sitting. 
Mr. Black, well, he's where he's always been. That solves it. No one else was on stage at the time. One of you must be the murderer. Well, what about you? What about me? Well, well, you were in here with us. It could have been you. And she's right. This isn't just taking place on the stage. This isn't just a play anymore. You guys can do your thing. 
All right, places, everyone. We'll take it from Holly's line. Drink up, Mr. Black. Wait, is this the original death scene? The one the characters you play? We'll need time for that. Right. Wake him up. Uh, is that the scene we're doing? Maybe I'm confused, but I thought we... Regina, what have I said? But I thought Tom was... No more thinking, okay? Now let's get on with the show. <coughs> Tom! Tom! What? Is it time for a snack break? No, we're taking it back a few pages. We need you for the original death sequence. Okie dokie. At least that means I'll get another pop. No, no, no. You can't eat anymore. We're running low and we need to save some for tomorrow's show. Okay, fine. <laughs> Drink up, Mr. Black. You don't want your tea going on now, do you? Oh, Mummy, the poppy cakes are simply to die for tonight. How's your billiards game lately, Miss Pope? We're just dandy, Miss Black. We kept around up to tea. Oh, Frida, always at her contest. I think it would be grand, maybe much. Oh, yes, that does sound exciting. <coughs> I'll just go set up the table. No, no, Miss Pope. I'd love to take a stab at it with playing game. <laughs> and the boys have to meet, and I'm certain I'll never defeat you. Oh, is that, Miss Black? Surely we since we last played. It's been years. No, I'm afraid I haven't at all. Seems I still haven't quite mastered the break. Oh, pish posh. It's nothing, really. All you have to do is put a bit more English on it. When the lights came back on, Mr. Black was dead. You mean Gary? <laughs> no, I mean... Oh, yes, that does sound exciting. I'll just 
go set up the table. No, no, Miss Folk. I'd love to take a stab at it and make it or two. Be your boys best at me, and I'm so that I'll never defeat you. Oh, why is that, Miss Black? I surely haven't heard since we last played. It's been years. No, I'm afraid I haven't at all. Seems I still haven't quite mastered the break. Oh, pish posh. It's nothing, really. All you have to do is put a bit more English on it. <laughs> They've got it 
all wrong. This place will be packed for sure. <coughs> how? We never have a full house. Because the story won't be about how terrible our show is. It'll be about the murders that happen at the Murder Mystery Playhouse. After hearing a story like that, who wouldn't want to buy tickets? She's right. And maybe you're on some of Brit. The theater critics do always seem to, seem to unravel the plot before anyone else does. They might actually be able to tell us why the inspectors keep dying. And maybe tell us who the killer is. And since a critic is an inspector, they'll be okay, right? Exactly. But what if I'm wrong? What if it's not just the inspectors who are being killed? What if it's just a coincidence that they're all cops? Well, then, one less critic we have to worry about. <laughs> Hey guys! There she is! We were wondering if you were going to come back! <laughs> There's this lady out front peeking in the windows trying to get in. Looks like she wants to go to the rehearsal. Says her name's Adele Sears from Sheboygan Daily Tribune. Speak of the devil. Adele Sears is a theater columnist, right? Yes. Perfect, Susan. We were just talking about how wonderful it would be if a critic were here. Really? You want a theater critic here? Haven't you been watching this rehearsal? <laughs> Erica, go invite her in. <laughs> See you on the show without me. Oh, no, we haven't moved forward at all. You really didn't miss anything. Then who's this? Oh, he's not with me. That's Inspector Wright of Chaplin BD. Um, she's here to invest in the Oh, could have sworn she looked familiar. You're probably just mistaken in her Tom. It's the fire pokers. Simple mistake. <laughs> so, where have you been all this time, Susan? Well, since we're on break, I took a little walk down to the corner store and did a little window shopping. <laughs> Take a look at this! Ah! <laughs> that is so clear and comfy! You say it was only 49 and I had 30 bucks for the whole set! Can you believe it? <laughs> what? Well, anyways, I thought it was a steal! <laughs> I'm afraid I haven't at all. It seems I still haven't quite mastered. 
lifted the brake. Oh, Miss Bosch, you really shouldn't think like that, Griffin. I mean, you're good. You're really, really good. And it's important that you believe in yourself. I know you can do it. <coughs> and you break your record, Billy Bosch is nothing, really. All you have to do is put a bit more English on it.
cursed. Hmm. Interesting idea. Oh, are you thinking what I'm thinking? What? Well, since he's the playwright, he could just rewrite the scene so that the curse will be reversed, right? Oh dear, you've gotten too deep into this now. He can only, the murders aren't happening in the play. He can only rewrite it so that Mr. Glass doesn't die, but Tom's fine, aren't you, Tom? What? Are we done? Well, look who came back. <laughs> Where did you go? I didn't think you'd miss me. Um, I'll just be over here. Wake me up before you all leave. Uh, Tom? Yeah? Before you drift off again, did you tell us that it's storming outside? No. It's perfect weather for eating tacos on the side of the road. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Tom. So it isn't storming, and the light should be going out unless there's a technical problem. There is not. It's been checked and double checked. The playwright might be able to help us figure this out. Can you? Maybe. I mean, I'm happy to take a look. Perfect. Let's redo the scene. Wait, are you sure we should be doing this? I mean, what if something that I'm having surprised? What do you mean? She means your mess. <laughs> Me? If the pattern continues, everyone who we replayed the scene for has died. Well, in that case, maybe we shouldn't. <laughs> no, it, it'll be fine. I, I promise. Are you sure? Yes. That's not very reassuring. <laughs> maybe I should just go. No, no, stay. Please stay. You have to help us. Take precautions if you must, but please, please stay. Okay. Perfect. Do you think that we have helmets or something in costuming? <laughs> I know it's okay. <clears throat> Tom, get up. We're redoing the murder scene. Seriously? Are we really that bad? <laughs> this ought to do it. Perfect. No fire poker in this whole world could penetrate that. If you say so. <laughs> All right, uh, places, everyone. <coughs> Drink up, Mr. Bluff. You don't want your tea going cold now, do you? Oh, Mummy, the poppy cakes are something to die for tonight. How was your billiards game lately, Miss Bluff? I'm just dying, Miss Bluff. Careful around after tea. Oh, Freda, always up for a contest. I think it would be grand, Mary Walsh. Oh, yes, that does sound exciting. I'll just go set up the table. No, no, Miss Hope. I'd love to take a stab at it and play a game with you. Be your boys best than me, and I'm certain I'll never defeat you. Oh, why is that, Miss Black? I surely you've been drinking the last day. It's been years. No, I'm afraid I haven't at all, since I seldom and quite mastered the break. Oh, pish posh. It's nothing, really. All you have to do is put a bit more English on it. <laughs>
Sheldon. No, we can't. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened here either, but I really don't think we should open tomorrow. We are opening tomorrow. Keep moving forward. It's the only thing that we can do. In fact, I think Brian wrote that in one of his plays once. It's what he'd tell us to do. What? But we can't. We don't have an Inspector Bradshaw. Oh, right. I'll do it. And no, Erica, you already do too much. No, Brent's right. The show must go on. I'm not going to on the side. Inspector Bradshaw could be a girl, right? But what about the murders? Isn't anyone concerned about who did it? I mean, what if it happens again? It won't. No one else is going to die. I knew it! It was her! This is it! But she might as well just confess to it! No, that's not what I said. Then how do you know no one else will die? It's all right here. The murderer is dead. Aha! Uh -huh, I knew it! No, you didn't. What are you talking about? This? Yeah, it's a copy of the play. Who's this pocket? <coughs> no. This is titled The Murder Mystery at the Murder Mystery. That's not the play we're rehearsing. No. But it's a play where all the forming in is this very moment. What? I thought something strange was going on, and this explains everything. How so? I thought something was odd when Brian said he'd written Stranger Things. He said it off the cuff. Well, what he meant is that he'd actually written Stranger Things. I don't follow. He meant it literally, that he'd actually written Stranger Things in this very play we're all in. Putting a little English on it? No, the murder mystery at the murder mystery. I mean, think about it. All the music cues being off, the weak red herring, the endless fire pokers, Misty's one-dimensional personality. What? The terrible <laughs> British accents we've all been using during the play. What? My accent is perfection. What are you suggesting, Irina? I'm saying that it doesn't add up. This isn't reality, and we of all people should be able to recognize that. We're actors, after all. So, you mean everything. The curse, the murders, the fire pokers, it's all... Only to write yourself into the play and save us by writing your own death. 
supposedly killing off the murderer. Then you write yourself back in, threaten to kill us again, yet you don't know how your character got a copy of your manuscript? What? I do pay attention to something. <laughs> I haven't finished yet. It still needs some revisions. You're a really terrible writer, you know that? It's unedited. Behind every good writer is an even better editor. You would know that. You're just a terrible actor. <gasps> no one here to make your words sound better, is there? No, that's my job. And I've had enough of this. Get out of my theater now! I'm not leaving without the manuscript. Don't let him have it! Very well. I'll just have to take it from you. You and what army? You're outnumbered. Yes, except you've forgotten one thing. And what is that? I've written myself. I'm not just some boring playwright. I'm a playwright with superpowers. I can move at super fast speed. You won't even know what has hit you before I have the manuscript and I'm gone. Stop him! Put a bit more English on it. 